Hi, it's Bimmer Zen with another short video on BMW's N42 and 46 engine. And in this video, I will be answering a very common question that I get from viewers. And that question is, can I avoid using compressed air through the spark plug hole to prevent the valve from falling into the cylinder while replacing the valve stem seals by just putting the piston in top that center position in that cylinder and then the piston will push up against the valve and that should prevent it from falling down. Now the answer is uh, yes you can, but also it's kind of tricky. So let's get into the video and I'll explain why. I have my N42 engine on this engine stand and this is my test engine where I can show you stuff. And I already removed the Valtronic assembly and I also removed the rocker arm on the first valve on the first cylinder. Now I'm going to put the first piston in top dead center position by rotating the crankshaft. I'm going to use a long screwdriver and I'm going to put it through the spark plug hole and now I'm going to rotate the crankshaft until the screwdriver stops moving up. Okay, so this is the top dead center position for that piston. Now I'm going to use this 3D printed tool that I've made to compress the valve spring. And this tool just slides onto the cylinder head and then we have to secure it with a nut just hand tight. By the way, if you are interested in getting this tool from me and support my work, I'm going to put link down below. You can get it and this tool is specially made for the N42 and N46 engine, so you can compress the springs and replace the valve time seals much easier and quicker than the standard tools, so check it out. Now I'm going to compress the spring And as you can see, the keepers did release quite nicely from the spring plate. So now we can use magnetic screwdriver to remove the keeper. And as you can see, it worked without any issues. And here is the second keeper. Now we can release the tension and remove the tool. And now we can remove the spring. Now let's see what happens if I put some pressure onto the valve. And as you can see, it drops quite low into the cylinder head. So this is the minimum possible position while the piston is in top dead center. Now let's try and reinstall the spring and the keepers. So this spring is now almost fully compressed and with the stem all the way down, it's kind of hard or nearly impossible to install the keepers, but let me show you what I mean. So as you can see, it's impossible to reinstall the keepers. Now the way to do it is to start with the valve all the way up and then just carefully compressing the spring so that it doesn't move the valve all the way down. So at this point the valve stem seal should grab onto the valve and that should prevent it from falling down. So if you have a worn valve stem seals they will probably not be able to hold up the valve, but if you've just replaced the valve stem seals, then the friction between the seal and the valve stem should be enough to prevent the valve from falling down. Spring in. 
with the stem all the way up we should be able to insert the keepers So as you can see, I was able to remove and then reinstall the keepers without the valve falling into the cylinder and that's without using compressed air. But that's not because the piston is in top dead center position. The valve still has to be all the way up for you to be able to install the keepers back onto the stem. So you have to keep that in mind and also here at the back there's really really little space to work and uh, it's much much easier if you have compressed air applied to the cylinder and that just kind of uh, stabilizes all the valves in place and you can get this job done faster and easier. You can also use the rope method instead of compressed air so if you're using rope you can put a piece of nylon rope into the cylinder and then put the piston in top that center and that rope then presses against the valve and in that way you are able to keep that valve in place and prevent it from falling inside. So the moral of the story is yes it can be done but it's kind of tricky when the engine is still in the car and you have to work on it all the way at the back. So that's why I definitely recommend using compressed air. So that's all for this video. If you have any other questions, uh, put them down below in the comments. And uh, keep zen and continue the art of BMW maintenance.